Hello, hello everyone, hello dear student. See, in this lecture, we are going to see next monoazo dye synthesis of next monoazo dye that is erichrome black tea. Okay, erichrome black tea. See, what is the structure of erichrome black tea? Let us see. See, this erichrome black tea is also a monoazo dye. Erichrome black tea is also a monoazo dye. Okay, this is what a erichrome black tea. This is what erichrome black tea. Okay, it is also abbreviated as erichrome black tea. It's a monoazo dye. Why it is monoazo dye? Because it is having only one n double bond n linkage. It is having only one n double bond n linkage. Now let us see synthesis of this erichrome black tea. Synthesis of this erichrome black tea, a monoazo dye. Let us see synthesis. Okay, see in the synthesis of erichrome black tea, we have to start from Betanaphthol. Okay, we have to start from what? Betanaphthol. Betanaphthol is a starting material for the synthesis of erichrome black tea. Okay, see, betanaphthol is first reacted with nitrous acid. It's first reacted with what? Nitrous acid, HNO2. Okay, what is the structure of HNO2? OH N double bond O. This is what? Nitrous acid. OH N double bond O. So, betanaphthol is treated with nitrous acid. So, what we will get? See, we will get alpha nitroso. Okay, we will get what? Alpha nitroso betanaphthol. Alpha nitroso betanaphthol. This what we have seen gambin Y, isn't it? Alpha nitroso betanaphthol is a gambin Y. So betanaphthol is treated with nitrous acid. So we will get what? Alpha nitroso betanaphthol. Now this alpha nitroso betanaphthol in next step, it is reacted with what? NaHSO3 sodium bisulfite. Okay, sodium bisulfite for reduction. For what? Reduction. So, nitroso group will undergo what? Reduction. N double bond O. This nitroso group will undergo what? Reduction to get to get to get alpha amino betanaphthol to get what alpha amino betanaphthol alpha amino betanaphthol now see this alpha amino betanaphthol is reacted with okay i will write this alpha amino betanaphthol here once again In next step, this alpha amino beta naphthol is reacted with concentrated sulfuric acid. 
give concentrated sulfuric acid for sulfonation so we have to introduce sulfonic acid group okay see amino group is more ortho para directing it's more electron releasing than this hydroxyl hence sulfonic acid group will introduce at para to this nh2 functionality sulfonic acid group will introduce at this position okay para to this nh2 functionality because nh2 group is more ortho para directing more electron releasing than hydroxyl functionality isn't it so in next step we will get sulfonation in next step we will get what sulfonation para 2 with respect to this amino functionality and here there is what hydroxyl group okay so we will get what this type of intermediate in this step now in next step this intermediate is on reaction with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated H2SO4 a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated H2SO4 okay that is nitration so nitration will take place okay now nitration will take place now next step is what nitration so nitration will take place now para with respect to this hydroxyl para with respect to this hydroxyl in another ring okay this is the para position of this hydroxyl okay in another ring so you will get nitration here no2 no2 group will introduce at this position So this is what we will get okay this is what a one of the intermediate one of the intermediate of erichrome black tea synthesis i will call it as intermediate a i will call it as intermediate a okay now see we have to write this intermediate a in some different fashion okay we have to write that intermediate a in some different fashion like this see we are writing same intermediate we are writing same intermediate but in different fashion so we have to write it horizontally now isn't it this ring i have written like this now i want nh2 group see here nh2 group at this position so i am writing nh2 group here now for this nh2 ortho is what hydroxyl your hydroxyl will come here okay your hydroxyl will come here now next with respect to this hydroxyl there is what no2 group in another ring okay so this no2 group will come here no2 group will come here okay now with respect to this nh2 there is what sulfonic acid group that will come here that will come here now see this word the structure that we have written in this fashion this is what your intermediate a now in next step this intermediate a is what we have to diazotize we have to diazotize by using sodium nitrite hydrochloric acid at 0 to 5 degree celsius at what 0 to 5 degree celsius so what we will get we will have a diazonium salt for this amino functionality we will have diazonium salt for this amino functionality let us write that
so that will get converted into n triple bond n cl minus okay here there is what hydroxyl group here there is what so 3 h okay now we have to couple this compound see here we will get diazonium oxide okay cl minus will abstract proton from this hydroxyl group okay so you will have a diazonium oxide here we will have a diazonium oxide diazo oxide okay we will have such type of diazo oxide this intermediate is called diazo this diazo group and this is what oxide as there is what hydroxyl group is present at ortho position so cl minus counter ion of this n2 plus it will abstract proton from that phenolic hydroxyl which is quite acidic so we will have this intermediate diazo oxide now this diazo oxide it is on reaction with alpha naphthol it is on reaction with what alpha naphthol now see this is what a active position okay electronically rich position this ortho position with respect to this hydroxyl okay it is a electronically rich position active position so coupling will take place here okay this n double bond n okay it will couple with this position so next step is what last step is coupling last step is coupling and that coupling is carried out in presence of sodium carbonate okay this coupling is carried out in what presence of sodium carbonate so we will have a diazonium oxide will get coupled with this alpha naphthol and we will have a final structure of erichrome black tea okay so we will have a final structure of erichrome black tea that i will write here okay this coupling is also carried out in basic medium in alkaline medium sodium carbonate hence so3h okay that sulfonic acid group will get converted into corresponding salt so3na there is nitro group at this position now we have to write alpha naphthol ring here okay this is what alpha naphthol ring okay so this is erichrome black tea ebt erichrome black tea a monoazodi okay so this monoazodi is synthesized erichrome black tea is synthesized in this way once again i am repeating the synthesis see in the synthesis of erichrome black tea we have to start from beta naphthol okay beta naphthol is reacted with what nitrous acid so nitrous acid okay beta naphthol is on reaction with what nitrous acid we will have alpha nitroso beta naphthol okay alpha nitroso beta naphthol now this alpha nitroso beta naphthol is reacted with sodium bisulfide nhso3 for reduction to get alpha amino beta naphthol okay to get what alpha amino beta naphthol now this alpha amino beta naphthol first is sulfonated it is firstly sulfonated so we will have sulfonic acid group at this position so we will get this sulfonic acid group at para position now this compound this intermediate is nitrated then okay so what we will get we will get nitration at this position with respect to this hydroxyl okay now in next step this compound that intermediate a is we are written in fashion by another fashion so we can write a easiest structure of this <laughs> ebt dye 
okay now this intermediate a is reacted with what sodium nitrite hydrochloric acid for diazotization at 0 to 5 degree celsius so this nh2 group will get converted into no2 n2 group that is diazotized group and this hydroxyl functionality will get converted into oxide functionality okay as it is quite acidic this hydroxyl group is quite acidic okay so we will get diazo oxide now this diazo oxide is reacted with what alpha naphthol for coupling in next step in presence of sodium carbonate so we will get what a final dye erichrome black tea a final dye what erichrome black tea now we will see what are the uses of this erichrome black tea uses of erichrome black tea See, this erichrome black tea dye, it is used for dyeing wool fiber. It is used for dyeing what? Wool fiber. Okay. See, this erichrome black tea dye, it is used in the form of its chromium salt. This erichrome black tea dye is used in the form of what? In the form of its chromium salt. Okay. So, in that chromium salt solution, this fiber, okay, wool fiber are immersed okay and then we will have a dyeing of this erichrome black tea dye on wool fiber okay so this is what first use of erichrome black tea that is for dyeing of wool in the form of its chromium salt now second hence it is also called chromium azodized this dye is also called chromium ebt dye is also called chromium azodized now second use of this ebt you know very well okay erichrome black tea it is used as a indicator in complexometric titration okay in complexometric titration involving edta with the use of edta that is uh, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid okay so ebt is also used as a indicator ph indicator in the complexometric titration of edta okay so this is what synthesis of ebt and use of ebt Okay, I hope you all understood this topic very well. We'll stop here. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.